I want to run through a complete business process for fixed assets in Dynamics 365 Business Central. It's important to maintain a detailed record of your assets. I'm going to acquire an asset. I'm going to adjust the value of the asset. I'm going to calculate depreciation on it. And then at the end, I'm going to dispose of that asset. We'll see a complete life cycle of a typical fixed asset that you can manage in Business Central. So let's get started. This is my current list of fixed assets. I'm going to add to this list. There's a number of ways that I can add to it, but what I'm going to do is create a purchase order for a new piece of equipment. Here's the vendor from whom I'm going to buy this new piece of equipment. The lines in a purchase order allow me to select a fixed asset that I can add to the system. I'll click on New, and I'll put a description of the new asset. I anticipate that I'll be able to put this piece of equipment into service on the first day of November. And this is going to have a seven year life. I could always add this information later, but I might as well do it now because I know what that information is. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to finish up the PO. So here's the purchase order to purchase this new fixed asset. What I'm going to do is I'm going to receive the new fixed asset into my organization. I'm also going to enter the vendor's invoice into my accounts payable system. I'll put in the vendor's invoice number. Everything else looks right. So I'm going to go ahead and post this. Let's go back to the fixed asset list. I've added this new item here. We can open that up. It's already been acquired. We acquired it through the purchase order process. I can add additional information if I need to do that. I may want to add the contract or some additional information about this particular purchase or this piece of equipment. But I'm going to leave this as it is. We can see from the asset card that I can drill down the book value and I get a complete audit trail of this particular asset. Here I can find the entries and it shows me that it came in on this particular purchase order and purchase invoice. I can see the information right here. The link is retained in the fixed asset information. Let's say some time has passed and it turns out that this piece of equipment needs to be written down a little bit. The technology has advanced and the piece of equipment that I purchased is worth less than the current book value. So I'm going to write it down by $12,000. I use this journal here. I've got different posting types. You can see that here. This is going to be a write down. I'm going to go ahead and post that. So if I have an impairment in value on my fixed assets, it's easy to adjust to reality. I can do that right within the system. On a periodic basis, I'm going to also calculate depreciation on all my fixed assets, create an entry for that, and post it to the general ledger. This is an automated process. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to calculate depreciation. This process goes out and looks at my fixed asset records. It will determine the appropriate depreciation. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to open up the journal here. I'm going to post this. Looking at the fixed asset card for this new piece of equipment, I can drill down the book value and see all the transactions. We see the original acquisition here, the write down we did, and then a depreciation for one month. As we process additional transactions against this fixed asset, we're going to see those transactions here. Later in the following year, we're going to dispose of this asset. I'll put another transaction in. We can see that here. This is a disposal transaction. I'm going to get $160,000 for it. So let's go ahead and post that. Let's go ahead and look at the preview posting and see what's going to happen. And what we can see is it's going to back out the accumulated depreciation. It's going to back out the equipment amount, recognize the loss on it. I'm going to go ahead and post that. And when we receive payment for this, we can show that offsetting loss on this asset disposition. This was an example of a complete fixed asset business process in Dynamics 365 Business Central. We maintained the asset records. Through that, we acquired an asset. We needed to adjust the value. We calculated depreciation. And then at the end, we disposed of that asset. 